everyone. Welcome to Not the Norm. Uh, if you've been to the website before, welcome back. Glad to see that you're uh, you're continuing to come back. That's great. If you're new to the site, welcome, welcome. I hope that you find some good information on fitting and sewing. Uh, this video is uh, basic fit information on how to evaluate a garment. And this information is, um, it's old information. It's, it's information that uh, our grandmothers use, our grandparents. Uh, it's information that uh, the industry, the clothing industry uses. It's old, it's, it's timeless, it's great information. It works on all garments, it works on all body types. It's not, uh, it's not gimmicky, um, but it seems to have gotten kind of lost in um, the home sewing realm. So we're going to go in and uh, talk about this a little bit and uh, see if we can't revive it somewhat uh, to help people with their fitting issues. So I refer to this as zones of LCD and balance. And um, we'll start in and we'll just go through and talk about all the, the, the different terms involved in, in this. So when I refer to zones, I'm referring to uh, zone one, two, three, and four. And zone one is from the shoulder down to the bust level. Uh, zone two from the bust to the waist, three from the waist to the hip, and then four is everything below. So LCD. L means length. And uh, in our, our garment pattern, we are going to change the length in zone number one to match to our body. So from the shoulder to the bust line, we are going to either slash and spread or tuck to get this to match us. And then we're going to go into uh, zone two and do the same. We're going to either slash and spread or tuck to get this length to match us. And then in zone three, we will do the same, either slash and spread or tuck. And then in zone four, do the same. So C, C means circumference. And um, in zone number one, we are either going to slash and spread or tuck to get the circumference of this garment to match us. So um, I, it's my belief that the home sewing industry does not promote uh, a large number of body measurements. I would have to, it is my opinion that uh, we should be taking body measurements for the front of the body and the back of the body, um, not only for length, but also for cir circumference. So you should have a front body measurement, you should have a front waist arc measurement, a front hip, and then again, a back, a back waist, and a back hip. That way you, um, you can see your body is not the same in the front and in the back. And um, some of us have bigger fronts, some of us have bigger backs. You don't want to be giving yourself headaches over fit issues because you've, you've tried to distribute the, the circumference evenly. So go ahead and spread in zone one to get circumference, spread or reduce in zone two to get circumference, spread or reduce in three, spread and reduce in four. So that's what C stands for. D. D is darts, and, and darts are like a personal body map. Um, it's going to be dependent on how cylindrical you are in your body. If you kind of go straight up and down, or if you go out, your, uh, your darts are going to be kind of minimal. If you're very curvy, um, or if you have a large bust, or if you have large hips, you're curvy and your darts, you're going to have more darts and they're going to be big darts. So um, changing those darts to fit your body, to move the fabric in and out is um, what the D stands for. Darts can also be in your shoulder seams and in your side seams. And we'll talk about that a little bit more. So then once we have all of the garment so that it goes around the body correctly and there's enough length so that things are matching your body, 
Um, we're going to go ahead and check the balance. And balance is when the garment hangs straight up and down on the body and it hangs straight up and down uh, from front to back. So um, if you have uh, balance issues, um, you will see that. And, and we're going to talk next about indicator lines that will show you some of these problems as they come up. So again, LCD, uh, zones of LCD and balance. So that's, that's kind of the, the way to remember uh, what you're working with. So uh, as I uh, mentioned, there are indicator lines that we use to, uh, to evaluate whether or not a garment is uh, hanging correctly and whether or not the balance is correct. So um, starting in zone number one, we have the neckline. And the neckline, um, if it's pulling to the front or to the back, could be an indicator of uh, a fit issue. Uh, shoulder seams are indicators of fit issues. They could be too far forward. They could be too far back. They could be misaligned. They should run uh, from the, the back of the ear to the, to the shoulder point. Uh, your neckline should be up against uh, your jewel neckline. Uh, it should not be poking out in a V-type shape. And uh, it should run along uh, your neckline to that little uh, bone dip that you have in the front. It should not be up really high choking you. Um, it, it should be, it shouldn't be down here um, if you're working with a, a basic sloper pattern like this. Um, the next indicator line is, is this bust here. This should be parallel to the floor all the way around. All the way around. Uh, if it's not, if it's dipping up in the front or it's dipping down, you kind of got smile lines going like this, smile lines going like this, or it's kind of up. It's an indicator that you have a problem up here in zone one, uh, probably most likely with length. Um, the next indicator line here is the waist. Uh, waists are kind of funny things because not everybody's waist is the same. Uh, Lavinia here, hers is fairly straight across. You'll find some people have waistlines that go up in the front and down in the back. They'll be straight across or they'll go down in the front and up in the back. And um, this is uh, a length issue when you, when you see that um, it's not matching your waist. It could be that you need to curve the waist by adding maybe a little bit more length at center front so that it matches. Also, um, um, if it's if it's too long, you need to shorten by curving this up. Um, so that's an indicator, but this one uh, can change. It doesn't have to be parallel to the ground. It can be up or down. It just needs to match your body. The next indicator line is the hip here. This also has to be parallel to the floor. If it's not parallel, it's an indicator that you have something pulling it up in the back, or it could be that it's saggy and droopy. So um, again, needs to be parallel to the floor. Uh, the, the next one is your hemline here. Again, like your hip, it needs to be parallel to the floor. This is a... Um, like I said, a, a, an indicator needs to be parallel to the floor and even all the way around from front to back. Um, other indicator lines are your center front. Center fronts need to be uh, straight up and down. Um, they can't pull to the side. Sometimes you'll get them, you know, they'll kind of go like this. Can't get this to move very well, but they'll be off to the side like this. They won't hang straight. Same in the back, you'll have a, um, a seam line down center back that might be skewed from one side to another. That's an indicator line. And also your uh, side seam is an indicator line. This could be pulled to the front or to the back. Um, it could be tipped uh, in the front so that it, it, uh, it goes more like this and you get this little kind of uh, bow in the front of your garment. It could be tipped to the back. Again, you'll have it swing to the back. And the same here. You could have a, 
lines here that swing to the front or the back. And um, these are uh, sometimes a, a circumference issue. So even though we're working um, with kind of a, a full torso garment here, these lines here also apply to skirts and pants. And um, uh, you'll see balance issues in those uh, as you do in the skirts. Uh, and you need to um, correct them so that these lines hang straight and parallel to the ground. If they're not parallel, then, then you have a balance issue. With regards to uh, indicator lines and balance, you know that uh, you have it correct when uh, the shoulder seams match your body, the neckline matches your body, and these horizontal, excuse me, these uh, vertical lines are going straight up and down, both center front and center back, and these horizontal lines are parallel to the floor. Um, you know that you have achieved a uh, good balance. The waist is um, uh, something on its own. Uh, the waist only has to match your waist. So um, we don't use the waist as kind of a, a balance thing, although we do correct balance with the waist and we correct balance with the shoulders. Moving on to darts. If um, if you can think of this garment as just straight up and down like a um, just a cylinder or, or a, a pillowcase that just hangs from the shoulders straight down, you're going to drape in the darts according to where your body curves in. So if Lavinia is curving in right in here, I'm going to go in and pinch out a dart in this space to make it fit her body better. Again, if, if um, I have a curve here, I'm going to go in and I'm going to pinch out this dart space and get that to curve to the body. In the back of the body, um, from, from this hip line up to the waist, this is a dart space. This can be pinched in and adjusted. There can be um, multiple darts here since this has uh, got quite a bit of a span um, and it varies in shape. Um, these darts can also vary. So um, another dart space that can be kind of hidden is up here in the shoulders. And if you're seeing kind of a lot of wrinkles in this area here above the bust point, it's an indicator that your uh, your your shoulder slope or the shoulder dart at this space um, is not deep enough so you can pick it up. If you feel like it's, you know, kind of straining there, it could be that you're, you've got too much of a slope there so you can let it back out until this relaxes and is smooth. So, um, like I said, darts are uh, a personal body map, in my opinion, and darts can vary quite a bit from person to person. So we'll, uh, we'll have a future video on darts, dart rotations, and um, we'll probably separate these two, this garment here into two pieces, and we'll talk about darts and fitting in this upper body, and then darts and fitting in this lower body uh, to, uh, uh, to give it a, a bit more of an explanation. Moving on to sleeves, uh, sleeves also have and follow uh, the same principles of uh, LCD and balance. So um, indicator lines in a sleeve would be from the shoulder up here down to uh, the bicep line, which is here. And then from the bicep line, there would be where your elbow is. And then from the elbow, it would be down to the wrist. So those would be your uh, your three zones, one, two, and three. And, and within those zones, you have to have enough circumference at this bicep line here to go around your arm. And then again, you would have to have enough circumference around here at the elbow 
to go around your elbow and then whatever is appropriate at the wrist for um, for circumference. Um, another thing that uh, your sleeve also has is balance and um, the balance in the sleeve is achieved by rotating this sleeve head around to the front or the back. Let me see, I have another sleeve for Lavinia here to help demonstrate. So this is, uh, sleeves are a bit of a posture dependent type uh, item. If your posture is a little bit slumped, your shoulder rotation is going to be a bit at an angle forward. If you have straight posture, your shoulder uh, is going to be more straight up and down. And if you have a very erect posture, your shoulder point might actually tip kind of to the back here. And, and you will see this in the, the shoulder seam will be either forward, centered, or a little bit more to the back, depending on your posture. And your uh, your sleeve rotation and the balance of your sleeve is going to follow um, what your shoulder seam is and how your arm drapes. So if you are uh, erect, your, your arm is kind of going to go forward like this. If you're straight, it's going to come fairly straight down. If you're slumped to the front, you may even see it kind of come back and then uh, bend at the elbow a little bit. So in regards to your sleeve, um, this would be kind of a, uh, a standardized posture where this balance line comes straight down. If you have posture that is very erect, your balance line here might be uh, a little bit to the back like that. And if your sleeve, if you're a little bit slumped, your sleeve might come forward like this. See how your balance line follows your arm. And you may have to add a bit of a, an elbow dart to get your sleeve to follow your elbow, which will um, more than likely have a bit of a more of a bend in it than the standard. So your sleeve will look almost kind of um, more like this when you're finished. So um, we'll go more into sleeves because sleeves are uh, almost kind of a whole different ball of wax in itself. It's not hard. In fact, it's, I think, pretty easy. Um, do remember that um, great sleeves come from great armholes and, and getting this right makes getting your sleeve right um, a whole lot easier. So, um, so that's what I have to say about sleeves. So, um, so this is LCD kind of in a nutshell. Um, this is how we will approach future alterations and we'll get back into the pattern work and body measurements and, and kind of show how those apply, um, in, in the flat pattern rather than in the draping so that when you get to this point, um, uh, you don't have to take your garment on and off to, to achieve a really good fit. So remember, um, zones of LCD and balance. And uh, we hope to see you in the future at some other of the uh, videos that we'll be making. And uh, I, hope, I hope you get in there and sew and have lots of fun. All right, bye.